stunning lakeside views and postcard perfect scenery. Lugano is tucked into Switzerland's southernmost canton. But aside from its beautiful landscape, there's one other jewel in the crown of this Swiss Mediterranean city. Computational power. This is the home of Alps, not the mountains, but a different kind of giant. One of the world's most advanced supercomputers. It's the latest generation of high performance computing. Imagine you have your laptop, but now imagine that you have 10,000 or 20,000 of those laptops. So here we look at extremely capable processors that are more capable than your laptop processor. And we're looking at nearly 11,000 of those. That's the supercomputing center. Wow. But such power comes at a cost, heat, and a lot of it. This isn't your average data center full of noisy fans and air conditioned chillers. Instead, what's impressive about this place isn't just its brain power, it's how it's run. Built not only for speed, but also sustainability. Alps draws from the same source that has sustained Switzerland for millennia, glacial water. When you think of supercomputers, you don't necessarily think of pipes and pumps. What is, what is happening in here? So supercomputers burn tens of megawatts. And so that turns into heat that you have to somehow remove. And so the setup we have here is we take water from the lake, and this is the big pipe coming in. And then this water goes into a heat exchanger where the water stays in the center. The center typically cools around 10 to 15 megawatts, but has the capacity to go up to 25. Water from Lake Lugano is drawn in where it's typically seven degrees Celsius. Once used to cool the vast array of technical infrastructure, it goes back to the lake around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. The inherent problems that we have is we need water for cooling and we need electricity to power the machines. The two don't go well if something Famously, happens. they don't And mix, this is yeah. why we are on a raised floor. And so should something happen, you know, some pipe breaks or so and water comes out, mm. it will be collected here. And then this is really uh, uh, separated into different sector so that a water damage over here doesn't move on the other side. One level above, the pipes may be smaller, but water is still very much at the heart of the supercomputer center. Each of the 2,688 blades has a blue and red pipe, color-coded to avoid confusion during planned maintenance. So this is the inside of one of these blades, one of these many blades in this system. What are we looking at here? Okay, so here you have a Grace and a Hopper processor, so a multi-core CPU and the GPU, right, H100 okay. GPU. And they are, of course, consuming a lot of power, so that's why the liquid cooling goes directly on the processor. So that's here. what these pipes here these, are? These uh, copper pipes here, where the, the cold water comes in here, is distributed, and then comes in, uh, uh, the warm water goes out back into the, into the data center. By crunching vast amounts of environmental data, ALPS helps forecast sea level rise, glacial retreat, and extreme weather events on a global scale. AI is basically, you're building a, mo a predictive model based on data. So you could, for example, increase computationally the level of CO2 in the atmosphere. What happens then? What you can now do with those simulations is you can take your little understanding of reflective properties but you can now scale it up to the whole planet. So these are all things that, that are not easy to understand, but you can run it in massive simulations like on this machine. Not far from Alps is the Contra Dam. It's the fourth tallest dam in Switzerland, standing at 220 meters high. Its source, the Verzaska River, which is heavily influenced by rain and snowfall in the surrounding mountainous region. Well, this valley is uh, famous for famous for its extreme precipitation events. So it holds some of the world records of precipitation. And 
What we are doing, we are using the supercomputer ops in Switzerland uh, and run global climate simulations. One of the models aims to predict the impacts of rising CO2 levels on the planet. They do this by performing a series of tests, replicated on a worldwide scale, to see how the atmosphere reacts. If you sort of think of the Earth, we have millions of grid points or locations where we actually sample the environmental conditions like temperature, wind and so on. And then we have to go up in altitude, 150 levels. And then we have millions, millions of computations. Um, it's basically impossible to run on a normal computer. In a world facing both data overload and environmental crisis, ALPS is a chance for technology and nature to work together, setting a standard for how supercomputers stay cool without heating the planet.